So welcome to the this little presentation I've put together that I call the Personal Representative's Guide to Probate in California. I've been working in estates since I was uh, eight years old and I'd like to show you uh, a number of different things that you want to be aware of uh, if you have been named as the executor or the administrator to uh, an estate in probate. An estate is basically the net worth of any one person at any point in time, alive or dead. It's the sum of a person's assets minus all of their liabilities at that time. It can involve real estate, personal property, intellectual property, all sorts of rights, and ultimately it is a court process. Who am I? I am the owner of Los Angeles Estate Solutions. We are a probate specialist. I'm a realtor and an estates consultant. Uh, I started working in my father's antique and auction business and learned the value of personal property as well as how to distribute uh, and sell property in several different ways, all of which have pluses and minuses based on your, your situation. So we can advise you about that type of stuff. I started my real estate career back in 2005 and was identified as a, a quickly rising young talent and top producer at Keller Williams. And I joined EXP, the agent-owned cloud brokerage, uh, several years ago because I identified them as one, a fast-growing company, heavy in technology, which offered to the client a higher level of service, commitment, and exposure in the online world. Uh, I currently make my living selling homes and supporting my family that way, and I bring a unique skill set to the transaction beyond any typical realtor, mostly because of the experience that I have in building homes, personal property uh, disposition, as well as in selling homes. So my personal mission is to help people during difficult times and make it easier for you to deal with the estate. There's a lot to navigate and having someone you can trust and not take advantage of you or the situation is paramount. I've been through probate personally with my family's estate and I have helped many people sell their estates in probate as well. From the multi-million dollar estate to the one bedroom condo, every situation calls for a directed strategy that ensures matters are finalized so the estate can settle with the most money possible in their pocket and the heirs can all move on with their lives. So here's some seven simple steps to handling an estate that we're going to go into. The process, the executor's duties, how to deal with inventory and property and documents, an asset protection management plan that we can implement for you. Uh, we're going to explain a little bit about your estate attorney, the probate realtor, and also, also finalizing the estate. So the probate process really can take a little while uh, depending on your situation with the courts if you need um, if you need court confirmation or not many different things will dictate how long it takes for you to settle the estate so in the very beginning you're going to prepare and file the petition you can go pro per and represent yourself or you can also hire an attorney I would highly recommend hiring an attorney because it is a can be a complicated process so you'll have hearings You'll get your letters of administration, the orders of probate, uh, and the letters of testamentary. And when you get the letters testamentary, te technically you can sell the property. That's also notices to any creditors, uh, and also the Department of Health. You got to pay the state and the federal taxes, and then there may be uh, creditor claims which you have to deal with. So about six months or more into the process, there might be some distributions. Um, we will have to notify the Department of Health Services, the Franchise Tax Board, a claim of an exemption, you get the final tax letter, also the final petition um, for uh, distribution, and then there's the distribution process, and ultimately from 9 to 18 months later, you can settle the estate with the final distribution of funds to all who of the parties who were involved. The executor's duties is not a small list. Uh, there are You can go through here and read all of these. I won't talk about them right now because they obviously could be read. But you want to make sure that you read the wills, you safeguard any of the assets, you have the process moving along with the courts. You need to make sure that uh, you have a plan to protect anything of value in, in the property or in the real estate that might be uh, used to settle all debts and liabilities so that ultimately the estate ends up getting the most money they possibly can at the end. You'll be administrating the estate as well as doing all the tax returns and dealing with the claims and ultimately distributing the net value of, of the estate when the probate is done.
One of the most arduous tasks is locating all of the inventory and documents that you need uh, to determine what items of value that you have. You're going to need to go through the residence and look for all documents you possibly can and review everything to look for both assets and liabilities. So you're going to want to speak to your attorney about getting access to any safety deposit boxes and please never assume there's just one. There may even be storage units off-site full of stuff that you don't even know about. Uh, so if your family member was a hoarder, it may be best to call in some family members so that you can trust that the things are being handled well or you can call in uh, Los Angeles Estate Solutions for a consultation. I've been personally through hundreds of estates and can tell stories that will make your skin crawl. I've been in everything from a house with no one living in there and 16 cats that have been there uh, for I think about a month. Uh, a newspaper hoarder who you would stack the newspapers four feet high all over the floor so you had to stoop just to walk so your head didn't hit the ceiling through the house. To fetish collections hidden in basements that I can't talk about right now. And <clears throat> I've also found hidden cash, weapons, coin collections, and there's usually a few tricks that we can employ to help you find these valuable items uh, that we've learned that that's usually where people like to hide things. Again, we don't charge anything for this and we're happy to help and just share with you what we know. Here's some of the documents you should be considering <clears throat> looking for. Uh, first off, you should probably order five to eight copies of your loved one's death certificate right away. You're gonna need these for a number of different things. If they were a vet, contact the VA as soon as possible. They might be entitled to additional benefits uh, for burial costs and funeral costs. Uh, and, uh, and spouses and um, children might be eligible as well. And be on alert for identity theft. Unfortunately, many scammers do watch the obituaries. So keep, keep an eye on credit cards, bank statements, etc. Contact the banks and the credit cards right away. You're going to want to let the insurance company know about it, the car insurance as well as the house insurance. Find any birth, death, or marriage certificates. Any divorce decrees from previous mess messages. Certainly any will or trust if you have any. Uh, insurance policies, and you want to list out all these assets and get all the bank account numbers, social security number, credit card stocks, bonds, online brokerage accounts. I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. These are just some of the things that you're going to want to try to look for and, and locate and find and keep in a safe place so that you know what the assets and what the liabilities are. Personal property. Everybody's got personal property, no matter what kind of property that they live in. And there are a number of different ways that you can determine whether or not you have anything of value. Um, since I grew up in the art and the antiques business, I can literally walk into a home and within a few minutes tell you the caliber of material that you have and what are the different types of ways to dispose of it. And depending on the situation and the caliber, we can make sure that if you pick the right one, you're going to get the most amount of money for, for the uh, personal property. So I'm happy to share that with you um, and, and also share with you the different uh, methods that we can get rid of all the personal property. Real estate. This is my favorite part because that's what I get to do. And usually there's real estate involved in, in probates and most of the time they are sold. So depending on whether or not you need court confirmation, there's a couple of different ways that we can go about determining um, the, what the process is going to be to sell it. And you're going to definitely need to get an idea of value as well as determine if there are uh, more than one property and if there's any hidden liens on those properties. So once we get a list of those assets, we'll do uh, title records searches for you as well as look for any hidden liens that you might have to deal with if you're going to sell on it. And you, you're going to want to deal with that sooner than later. I uh, helped a woman sell a home and she was pretty close to being, on, well she was underwater on it, but we were able to negotiate a $40,000 deduction on a mechanics lien from a medical bill from the deceased and w with that extra $40,000 she was able to close out her loved one's estate and walk away with a little bit of money and make sure that all creditors and attorney's fees have been paid and she loved us for it and I'm happy to share stuff like that with you if that's your situation as well. So the big thing that I like to provide for you, the executor administrator, is an asset protection management plan. And by that I mean in 6 to 18 months you're, you will probably have settled the estate. And in that time, if there's real estate sitting there, we know that it's usually vacant or it will might attract an undesirable element. 
And so there are some very simple ways that we can advise you based on your situation about very either no cost or very little cost things to make sure that you maintain the value of the property while we're waiting for the courts. In many cases, we can increase the value of the property as well, uh, regardless if there is uh, money to spend on the estate or not. If the estate does have money and wants to spend it on the property, which are usually uh, in deferred state, we can also help you fix up the property. And when you do fix up the property, you, the estate will always net more money. Last year, at no cost to the owner, I oversaw the design and the remodel of a really great house in West Hollywood. And when we were done, the seller was never on, uh, on site uh, except for the day that she signed the listing agreement and agreed for me to oversee the design and the remodel. And she uh, interviewed for the, the contractors. I oversaw them. I designed the whole thing. And at the end of the day, she ended up netting an additional $88,000 for the estate and was able to uh, close out her loved one's estate and walk away with more money in everybody's pocket. So I'm happy to share that with you too because I used to build homes. I still build uh, an occasional house now and again. And it's something that I just really love to do. Your estate attorney. You may choose to be pro per and represent yourself and do all the paperwork or you may want to choose to hire an attorney. Either way, it's your right to do whichever one you want. Uh, it can be a very uh, time-consuming and costly, uh, confusing process, so having someone who knows how to operate through the court systems is a definite benefit for you. If you're at the beginning stages and you don't have an attorney, uh, we can give you several referrals to see who could be a really great fit. Uh, we have no interest in financial interest in who you decide to choose to represent you, uh, but we have vetted them all out so we know that we're not going to waste your time or the estate's money in uh, hiring an attorney that's just not a good fit for you. So ask us about it. We're happy to share that with you. If you already have an attorney, just forward this to them, this video, or if it's in book form, and make sure that they see it so that we can get acquainted with them to let them know that we're helping to advise you about different ways you can go about uh, settling the estate and making the most money. And we can also take some things off their plate that will ultimately create a win-win situation for everybody. Your probate realtor. Not all realtors are created equal just like in any business. And since probate is a real estate niche, be careful who you choose to align yourself with. Uh, there are services out there that will just sell the leads that they get from the courthouses, and these agents will just start calling you and sending postcards and uh, with what we call their commission breath, meaning they don't, they're just after the next commission dollar. And they, a lot of times, don't understand the intricacies of estate work and uh, also making sure that everything's on the proper legal probate forms. So give us a call. I'm happy to share with you our track record, even put you in touch with attorneys that we have successfully closed transactions for and gone above and beyond the call of duty. That uh, is why so many people hire us and they'd be happy to share that with you. And of course, at the end of the day, we are offering all of this just for a simple standard real estate commission. EXP Realty is the future of real estate. It's the brokerage that I chose to be aligned with because they're an agent-owned cloud brokerage, which also is one of the fastest growing brokerages in America. And at the end of the day, I knew when I joined them that they were leading the charge in technology and making sure that properties were more properly represented in the online virtual space because that's where everything's going. We have been likened to the Amazon of real estate. And at the end of the day, we see everything going into the cloud, which is where we are. Um, and most of us shop at Amazon now and not Walmart, or we do Netflix and not Blockbuster. So, it's an exciting time and one of a lot of great growth that, that we've been experiencing. So a quick recap about why you should hire Los Angeles State Solutions and David Bruce. We have an incredible track record. We'll be happy to show that to you. We only charge a standard commission to sell the property and I provide more experience in dealing with estates than any other realtor that I know. You can pick our brain and get quality advice even if you decide not to hire us to sell the property and you have absolutely nothing to lose except talking to us for a few minutes. I'm so confident in our work that I'll give you a 14-day listing guarantee. If your property is not in escrow in 14 days, cancel the listing with no fees or charges, and that's that. I, I know that we're going to sell your property for top dollar in the fastest time possible. We can provide all cash quick sale buyers if you don't need to put it on the market for whatever reason. We certainly can market your property in a very unique way using our online presence that drives traffic. And we'd like to advise and collaborate on how to preserve the estate and, and its value. 
Uh, we've got vendors and tradesperson who can take care of any issue you have. We can refer you to them. And all of this is for no charge. We only get paid when you sell your property for a standard commission. So you get 30 plus years of our experience in guiding you and dealing with the estate for free. And at the end of the day, we really like helping people and help them solve their problems. So take advantage of that. Finally, when it's all said and done, you get to breathe a sigh of relief because a year or more's work is finally over. You've settled your loved one's estate. And we know that if you had decided to hire LA Estate Solutions, you sold the property for top dollar, had a trusted team behind you to guide and help everyone and everyone has been distributed their funds and is hopefully very, very happy. Your attorney in the courts will provide you the necessary paperwork at that point to complete the process, and you'll know that we've been there for you every step of the way, providing you counsel to get through it all. So you probably have some more questions. Please give me a call and let's set a time to meet or email me at info at laestatesolutions.com. And I know it was a long video, but thank you very much for watching the video. And in gratitude, it's David Bruce. Have a great one. Talk to you soon.